Oh, hello VC. Hey, welcome to the video. I'm going to do a VC video today. Sporting the uh, unofficial Rock and Ronnie mug. And uh, I'm kind of toying with the idea of making a t-shirt. You know, a lot of folks make t-shirts for their channels. You know, I've been on some of the live streams. People are like, hey, yeah, I want a Rock and Ronnie shirt. So yeah, if you if it's something you, you might like, leave me a comment. Let me know about that. We'll see. You know, I don't know for sure. Um, the reason for the video, as you can see, it's a, uh, a contest entry for JT's Record Room. I was over at um, the flip side with JC. I was watching one of his videos, and this was a response. He was at contest entry. So that's where, and I know Ella, Martha, he was over, he did a response, and there's been a few other people that I know was over there did a contest entry, so I thought I would enter. Right, so uh, what's the contest? Well, you gotta show six records. First one, you gotta show a folk record. Magna Carta. What a nice, great record this is. Nice, folksy, UK it's a beautiful gatefold record. Now let's open it this way. You can see the gatefold from the outside, what it looks like. And what a nice, pretty record that is. And of course, it's uh, very early, like 71. And it is a UK swirl. Really good sounding records, right? UK swirls are very nice sounding records. Some people like that swirl label. I'm actually even th I'm actually thinking about making the T-shirt with the swirl label on it, and then putting my face inside here with the holding the Mike's lemonade. Is that something? Does that sound like a good idea? Or just maybe Rock and Ronnie with a banner across? I don't know. But this is a good record, my friends. If you're not familiar with this one, write it down. They've got, I've got a couple of theirs. Wasted Orchard is another one really good. I had that one. I, this is a really another another really good folksy UK folk music. Now we're supposed to go British Blues. Well, British Blues to me is Jeff Beck, right? Old school Jeff Beck. You know, uh, him and Eric Clapton both, you know, Yardbirds, stuff like that. This is his first record Jeff Beck put out. And... This is so such an old record. Rod Stewart's the lead singer in the band, yeah. And it is on a nice black Odeon label. That's a great label. You see that label anywhere, folks? Yeah, buy that record. It's going to have great sound on it. Really, really nice record. And this is another one from, like, 1971. This is an OG pressing. And look how black that cover is, right? It's just a testament to the quality of the Japanese records. That even the covers are made so good that they stand the test of time. Beautiful record. And a great record. You know, if you like Rod Stewart and you like Jeff Beck and you like rock and you like, you know, uh, the British blues, check that out, folks. Now, indie bands. I don't need, really not sure what independent indie bands. Well, it's got to be independent, right? It's got to be an independent guy. Well, here you don't get much into more independent than Mark Anthony K. This is a record he's put out. This is his first one, and uh, I've got four of them. There's a fifth one coming out. So again, I'll leave a link to Bandcamp for Mark so he can buy his new record that's coming out. He does have CDs out already. He has a lot of stuff. And he just lowered the price, I think, of the last record that he produced. And it's $15. I just got an email just the other day. And I was thinking of getting another one. And be buying one for my son. But, you know, Mark goes all out when he does his records. Got a nice insert in the record. Nice poly line inner sleeve. Blue, nice transparent blue vinyl. You want to talk about an independent, right? Mark 
as a lot of you folks know, because I talk about Mark every chance I, I get, but for the folks that don't know, Mark produces his own records. He does all the singing, or most of all the singing. He does all the guitars, he does all the bass, he does all the drumming, he does all the keyboards, he writes all the music, he mixes it all, he masters it all basically, and, but he doesn't press records, he doesn't have a pressing plant. But he's working on it folks, yeah. Project Gemini. Don't forget to check the link to the band camp. And while you're checking the link, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that's free. You know, it doesn't hurt anything. And share the video and all that so people can learn about, like, Mark. Okay, next of all, you're supposed to show a, a pop or a rock record. So I'm like, this is my kind of rock right here. Blue Oyster Cult's first LP. And this is my kind of, uh, I picked this one because, you know, it's a popular you know, Blue Oyster Cult's a popular group. And that's the kind of rock I like, this here stuff. And of course I got it on a nice, uh, something that I really love, I go and I try to find a really, really nice copy of it. And there it is. If you all don't know about these, this record here, yeah, have a listen to that on uh, YouTube. See what you think. Next one is Old School Metal. Well, you know, first I thought, I will pick... Black Sabbath, the first one. Because I have it on a WWA press, which is the same as the Swirl, the same stamper. Sounds really good on that stereo, I'm telling you. People think, oh, Black Sabbath, that's all that nasty metal. It sounds No, that sounds amazing on a good stereo, folks. But I said, you know what, let's pull out another one. There's got to be something else that I think is cool that maybe a lot of maybe folks don't know about, old school. Check that out, folks. Right? You got Budgie. Budgie Squawk. This is my OG that I bought from Kmart when I was probably 18, 17 or 18 years old. Canadian pressing. Yeah, I was living in Winnipeg then. And it's on the cap label. Isn't that cool? How many how many of y'all got records on the cap label like that? Yeah, there's not too many around. I don't think. There's only one I have, that's for sure. Budgie Squawk. What a great metal, old school metal record. Yeah. Everything about this record is very good, folks. Budgie Squawk. Next, you're supposed to show a jazz record. Well, you know, I've got lots of those blue notes, as you can tell. I've got a lot of that stuff, but on the same theme, great. Just a great record, lots of great, kind of like rock guitar. This is what you call a fusion. I'm going to make a video, I think, on my best fusion, jazz fusion records. Really, really good electric guitar and bass. Stanley also plays acoustic bass on this record. Just phenomenal drumming and, you know, just a great, great record. So, this is my pick for the jazz, Stanley Clark. Self-titled from, I think, 74. And uh, that's my contest entry, and thanks for watching. And don't forget to like the video if you stayed this long.